Stars and the Sun. Have you ever looked up at the stars? Did you wonder what they're made of? Stars are giant balls of hot gases. They have a lot of energy. They give off a lot of light. We can see them even though they're very far away. What is the sun? Did you know that our sun is a star? The sun seems brighter because it is much closer to us. The sun is the star that is closest to the Earth. The sun is made of burning gases. It is very, very hot. Its surface temperature is about ten thousand degrees Fahrenheit. Your oven only heats up to about five hundred degrees. The center of the sun is its core. The core produces all the sun's energy. The sun may look small in the sky, but it is huge. It is a million times bigger than the Earth. Think of the Earth being the size of a peppercorn. Then the sun would be the size of a basketball. Why doesn't the sun look bigger to us? Because it is many millions of miles away. It is so far away that it takes eight minutes for its light to reach us. Does the sun move? We say that the sun rises in the morning. We see it going up. We say that it sets in the evening. We see it going down. Does that mean that the sun moves? No, the sun doesn't really move. It just seems to be moving. It's the Earth that really moves. The sun is in the middle of the solar system. The Earth orbits, goes around, the sun. All the planets orbit. Go around the sun. The sun is very important to the Earth. Plants use sunlight to make their food for themselves. These plants are used for food by animals and humans. How does the sun affect weather? The sun gives the Earth light and heat. It heats the land and the water. The warm land and water warm up the air above. This makes weather changes happen. Warm air rises and cold air rushes in to replace it. This causes wind. Warm air makes water evaporate from lakes and oceans. It goes up into the sky and forms clouds. This causes rain. Without the sun, we would have no life on Earth. The sun is the reason we see shadows on Earth. A shadow on Earth occurs when something blocks the light from the sun. In the morning, shadows are long. The sun is behind the objects on Earth as it rises. The objects block more of the light. In the afternoon, shadows are shorter. The sun is higher above the objects on Earth. They do not block its light as much. The sun goes down in the evening. Shadows get longer again. It's fun to learn about the sun. But don't ever stare at it. Its light is very powerful. It can hurt your eyes. Let us now summarize what we have learned.